108, for anyone who doesn't know about it, is an ordinance that has recently been signed into effect by our council. We stand to lose some of our places. Those of us who aren't going to be lost need to register. And it's very important that everyone be aware of the time frames for that. What's happening is that the building department is going to be reviewing the law as it's written, and it isn't in its final stage. Once it is, or before it is, there will be hearings. If you or your neighbors or people that you know that you care about have vacation rentals, you need to pay attention to this. Go to the meetings if you can. Have input, fam familiarize yourself with the law. And if you want to stay in business, register. Our whole community depends upon people being able to spend the night here. And most people are spending the night in vacation rentals because we don't have resorts. It only really affects non-hosted rentals, which are you don't live in the same pro on the same TMK. Doesn't matter if you live next door, you're not there. Um, that's the only thing that's covered today. And if you have one where you're renting units that are on your property, don't go to sleep. As soon as they figure out how to get this thing through all the processes of signing up and, and getting us to do our applications and so on, they're going to do the same thing for the hosted rentals. So it's important that we all get together, hosted and non-hosted, and present a front to these folks, not just those of us that are unhosted right now. Correct. Right. Reach out to you again. And he is, uh, you are correct. Uh, right now it doesn't affect people that are, uh, do not reside on the, yes. The registration for Volcano Village, and I bought some handouts, I don't know if I have enough, but this subdivision or this community, I have a list of all the subdivisions that were created prior to 76. And um, I have a handout and I'll leave it here so you folks can make copies. But um, in, in this area, Volcano Village and a lot of the subdivisions, Mamalo Estates, Nano Valley, Ojia, Ola, Orchid Isle, Orchid Land, there's a whole slew of subdivisions here that were created prior to, and that's from the planning department. So they generated this list, and you guys are, whoever lives in this, these subdivisions, are grandfathered. And you would have to register, and you can continue to do your vacation rentals um, uh, if you reside on that parcel. And so you can con continue doing. And I have this, and I'll leave it with Luke. I'll leave the cop. Oh. Thank you. There. <laughs> Thank you. And then I'll. It gives me a good segue to the table. Oh, you had a question? Sorry. Um, if people live on those parcels and you named in the different subdivisions and things, could you just repeat what you said? So, Bill 108 does not apply to anyone that resides on your, in your residence and operate a vacation rental whether it's a um, ohana that you have, as long as that's your residence, you're not affected by Bill 108. So multiple lots um, that have vacation rentals that the, the owner does not, maybe lives on another piece of property. Those, and if you're listed on, if in these subdivisions that were created prior to 76, then you, you are grandfathered. You just have to go apply with the planning department. Um, file your certificate. Well, I mean, um, I'm, ass I'm assuming, maybe it's naive, I assume that uh, government looks out for us and does things to benefit us. And I'm just wondering, as time moves forward and the, rental, the vacation rental pool diminishes, because if people let it lapse, they won't be renewed, and there's no mechanism to bring in more. I'm wondering how this bill um, is going to benefit the volcano community. 
where well, so much of our livelihood depends on it. And I don't think so Bill 108 is, is designed to address your question. What I think can address your question is the process that's going to be taking place in the general plan amendment pr process and also the rulemaking. Because 108 was specific and it didn't go, there's so many other things that, that issues that should be addressed, but they had to start somewhere. And I'm not the pro, I mean, I didn't introduce the bill, so I'm just <laughs> um, going by what I know so far. And, but that process for rulemaking is an important process because there's other, um, there's other uh, procedures, right, that we can implement, especially for volcano, places like Volcano Village, where you can create a, um, a district or an overlay of um, a district that will allow some of these things. And this is all subsequent to 108. So don't have all the answers right now, but there's possibilities. And I think um, in the rulemaking and in the general plan review, if those things are raised, then they can implement or at least include those, those visionaries um, or those issues so that in the future, when they do their amendment, they can create areas that will be, you know, you would be allowed. Is there any possibility of this actually being rezoned as a resort area? Because that's pretty much what under 108 you have to be. Now, and to kind of answer his question, if you sell a property, the new owner does not assume. No, no, no. it does, it does. You have to, yes. You have to, if you don't continue it for a year, right, then, then it lapses. But once it lapses, it cannot, it, it's gone and you cannot apply. If the new, yeah, if the new yeah, owner doesn't. <laughs> and limit the number of vacation rentals that are in the area in order to make more long-term rentals available. That's the intent of 108. Well, and that's why we have, <laughs> and that's where we're having this meeting, and that's why we have rulemaking, because the things that you're concerned about, you know, I don't believe Rule um, 108 was intended to do that. I think it seems that <laughs> way, but um, from what I understand and from what I've heard, um, it's to regulate something that has been so um, out of control in some areas, in most areas, that if we allow it to happen, that's what's gonna kill the available affordable housing, not legitimate vacation rentals. <laughs> It'll be the, un, um, uh, the ones that are doing it as a business and um, buying pieces of property, um, multiple pieces of property, and not even live here. And if, if we wanna participate in the general plan, how do we do that as a community? Do we need to hire like a planner to help us look at that? Or does the county have support for that? Keiko hey, has your answer. <laughs> uh, my name is Keiko Mercado, and I'm a planner uh, with the planning department. Um, and so I will preface this by saying that I have not worked on 108. Um, so we did bring these handouts that have question and answers and the flow chart. Um, that can point you to if you are an STVR or not. Um, I work on the community planning side of things, and so I'm here in that capacity. I'm also here because I am a lifelong resident of Volcano. So I was born and raised here, went away to college for a little bit, and came back to raise my family because it is the only place that I could do that, or wanted to do that. Um, so the general plan, um, you, Right now, we're working on finalizing the draft. 